Uh, my name is Keith Wolkowski, and in March, in March of 2007, I helped found this organization that was sort of tilting at windmills. It was called Toledoans for Obama. There you go. <laughs> And I am so pleased to be here today to ask you about, we talk about uh, investing in America and rebuilding our economy. That won't happen unless we rebuild our cities. And Senator Biden talked about infrastructure, but it's more than that. We need a friend in Washington who's willing to invest in cities to again see cities as important. And I know you're a reader and you ask for advice. I'm holding the most important book ever written on rebuilding cities. Ever written? Is it Jane Jacobs? It sure is. See, I, the, can you know, I give this to you? It's uh, the death and life of great I, American I, cities. It's the I, most I, important I, book. I, uh, this is a great. This is a great book. And uh, you know, you know what? The um, here, here's the, the here's the opportunity that I think we have when it comes to cities. Is it used to be that. The, the whole, all of our politics was built around the idea, well, there's cities and then there's suburbs and the suburban people don't like the city people and the city people don't like the suburban people and usually the suburban people are Republican and the city people are Democrat, and, right? Our, our, our politics was built around that idea. Except now all the research is showing that if you want a thriving suburban area, then you better have a thriving city. If you want, if you want the, a state as a whole to do well, then the metropolitan areas in those states have to do well. And there, there's no separation. It's all linked together. And so we've got to get past this notion that somehow, well, we can just leave the cities and let them rot. Because what will happen is your economy will rot. And instead, what we want to do is to work with uh, cities to revitalize, to diversify their economy. One of the reasons that Illinois, for example, my home state, has done pretty well compared to some of the other Midwestern states is Chicago rebuilt itself. And it went from a manufacturing town and the stockyards, it transitioned to financial services and a whole range of uh, other businesses and, and the downtown was revitalized and suddenly uh, people said, you know what, I want to live there. And because the city continued to grow, the overall economy of the state continued to grow. And we've got to take that same approach when it comes to infrastructure. We've got to take that same approach in terms of investing in the great universities that are, are the anchors of so many cities. We've got to make sure that we're investing uh, in you know, basic human services, particularly safety, because let's face it, Schools and the safety of your streets, that's what's going to determine whether or not a city uh, is going to be able to thrive. And you know, if we're doing a better job working with the public schools in the way I just talked about, plus we're working with our law enforcement the way Joe has a history of decades of doing, to make sure that we're putting more cops on the streets, making sure that they have the kinds of uh, tracking systems that allow them to fight crime before it happens. If we're doing those things, then I'm absolutely convinced that not only is Toledo going to see a renaissance, but cities all across the Midwest can see a renaissance. That will be part of a master plan to rebuild the economy of America from the bottom up. Everybody, you've been terrific. I need you working for the Obama-Biden ticket. Thank you.